Hey, what's up? Nasser Malik here. I apologize. I have been ignoring my software automation viewers. I will try to do a better job creating more tutorials on load testing and software automation. So there was a question uh, from a viewer, how to run Selenium scripts using LoadRunner. To get started, the very first thing you need to do is to go to the Selenium website and click on download and uh, look for the languages C Sharp uh, driver and click download and remember where you downloaded it because you're going to need uh, to unzip it and go into net 40 net 40 and uh, you need to copy this stuff uh, and you're going to need it so i'm going to save it like i'm going to leave it like that so i'm going to launch my uh, view gen go to file new script and solution select dot net and you can give it a name say create or click create so this is basically a virtual user generator with C sharp script so first thing what we need to do is uh, copy some of the code in here so we need to make sure so I'm gonna add that code in the details below the video so you copy this code right there and uh, this is the example code that I'll paste it in uh, there so basically what it's doing is importing the namespaces now this is the system uh, but these are the ones that um, we're going to be using for selenium automation and um, what it's doing in this code is is, is uh, uh, initiating or creating a driver object and then it's going to navigate to a google website and it's going to um, go and define that element and it's going to type in cheese in there and um, I guess that's it it's going to stop so I mean this is just an example script um, as if you're working with selenium you know how to write your script uh, um, for java for c sharp there are similar similar commands you can google it so I just pasted the code in here uh, with the blank c sharp or dot net script and if I run it right now you're going to see errors okay so basically what it is saying is it's unable to find these namespaces that we entered in here. So if you remember, we downloaded um, the files, these right there. You need to copy these files and put them into the script itself. So how you do that, you basically copy them, go to your script, right click it, say open script folder. And in here, you're going to see bin directory. You go inside it and you paste all those files in here. So this is basically Selenium driver. Once you do that, um, you can actually go in here and say reference namespaces. Also, you can do this. And uh, you can go into your script folder and copy those, um, you know, could reference them, those files that way also. But I'm just going to go ahead and do these when I have on my local machine instead of navigating to the script. And I'm going to say, OK, they're referenced. Good. Try to run it. And I get an error. So it's uh, complaining about um, having the namespace system in there, which is not there. So I'm going to go ahead and see I can import that. So I'm going to go and say, system make sure you select the 40 we're going to import that oh it didn't do it let me we have to double click it double click it's there say okay okay here now run it and you're going to get this error so what is it telling you uh, with the Selenium uh, 3, uh, you need a driver for it to uh, work. So what we need to do is we need to go and download that and put it into the script. And this is the last step you need to do. So we're going to go ahead and go to the website and I'm going to include the link for this. And I'm going to get that. Um, 0.18.0 .0 version. I'm going to come in here 
and I'm not sure uh, if the 64-bit works with this uh, but I'm gonna try the 32 one and it's going to download that for me so I'm gonna basically copy this basically it's a zip file you're gonna unzip it and copy it and then you're gonna go into your um, directory here under bin and paste it so this is paste it now you go back and you run it and voila it's gonna launch this screen so okay so um, I, I by mistake I um, killed the session that it launches command um, window don't close that if you close it it's gonna give you this error so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minimize it so I'm gonna try it again play it's gonna open up this window I'm gonna minimize it and it's gonna open up browser now right there it's gonna type in and done so if you don't do the um, this command right here at the end you could comment that out and then you rerun it again and so you could keep the browser open this command um, window you need to minimize so this popped up okay so it's successfully ran. so now what you want to do is basically load runner the purpose of load runner is to measuring the performance of an application so to be able to measure performance let's say you are doing an application um, uh, search and stuff like that so what you need to do is once you type that in you need to click a search button so to measure the performance you need to make sure you enter a start and end transaction around this clicking of the button so we don't have button added in there we're gonna go ahead and add it so I'm just gonna copy paste that command right here and I'm going to say dot click and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, in the browser and take a look at it what's the name of the element is I don't know if I'm speaking uh, too low. Mm. Okay, ID uh, name. Are we doing name or ID? What is it? By name. Okay. There you go. So now, around we're gonna do the measurement around this action so we do lr dot start transaction and then you give it a name say search and then you can say lr dot end transaction and uh, you give it a name the same name that you started with dot I think it's LR dot auto I think right there and you're done so this is gonna measure search time how long it took to do search right before you click the um, um, search button it starts the um, counter and then as soon as the page load completes the request completes it ends it and then it shows you the total here so once you run that in the controller you will see this name for the transaction so let's run it so okay um, a small mistake um, I just need to put the um, parentheses are on it and was thrown in error so I ran it after fixing it so I'm going to rerun it again so basically it's going to show you how long it takes to complete this search run it minimize the window it's running browser is going to open up it's going to show you the browser type it in click search search completed done if you take a look at it 
now it's telling you how long it took to execute it if you uncomment this it will automatically close the browser at the end so hopefully whoever was looking for this uh, tutorial uh, this is a help if you have any questions uh, leave comments below please um, I'm not doing that many um, software automation or load testing tutorial because I'm not getting any um, good response back on it so and I'm getting a lot of traction on IOT tutorials so I'm doing those a lot more so if you want me to do more uh, software load testing tutorials uh, please pass around the information and uh, leave comments and I will definitely do more tutorials for you guys thank you very much bye bye